Hey friends, I get asked a lot at the gun range and online about one very important topic and one that there's a little bit of confusion on, that's single action and double action pistols. Now the sad thing is a lot of these people that we're talking to are somewhat kind of timid to ask sometimes because a lot of times we're dealing with the two main things that kind of, I guess, plague the gun industry, so to speak. It's the gun snob and the know-it-all. These are the two people that kind of ruin it for the good people, especially the, the younger, uh, I shouldn't say younger, but the newer people, the people that are new to our sport. Uh, sadly enough, you know, you've got the gun snob that talks down on everybody. He's also a combination of the know-it-all because he does think he knows it all, but at the same time, he's very condescending in the way he talks to people. And then you have the know-it-all who is just dangerous. They, they have a little bit of information, maybe not even useful or helpful information, and they act like they know it all, and so they're, in most cases, they're disseminating bad information. So let's talk real quick about double action, single action, and let's dispel either the myths or some of the misinformation that you guys might have gotten out there. All right, guys, let's get right into it. These four pistols right here, these are very common pistols. Today's modern pistols have some of the same characteristics across the board. Set of sights, a trigger, pistol grip, a slide, all that good stuff. But you'll notice there are some specific characteristics that are not shared amongst these guns. You'll notice these two on the bottom, visible exterior hammers. But if you look closer on this P250 right here, it's a six hour. It has a hammer in there also. It's just not visible and it's not cockable by the thumb like these two guys right here are. The difference is this pistol, this 1911, it is a single action. This CZ75 is a single and double action. This SIG P250 is a double action only. This Glock, well, the jury is still out on a Glock. In theory, Using the double action, single action definition that we're about to tell you, this could be considered a double action, but in most, most circles it's also considered a single action. And in most circles it's probably pretty accurate. But, again, based on the definition, it could be a double action. Sound confusing? Well, it can be. Let me break this down a little bit for you. First of all, let's talk about the word action in the, in the phrase double action, single action. The word action is pretty much the action of the trigger. What action is the trigger performing whenever you pull it? Okay, in a single action firearm, the, the action is, it's just one single action. In other words, let's say a 1911 for instance. This is a single action only. It can never do the functions or the features of a double action. What that means is, this gun, I don't care how, many, how hard you pull this trigger, it is never going to cock this hammer. It's never going to do this. Okay, now in this particular instance, it is ready to go. It is in the cock position, the hammer is loaded, ready to roll. All you have to do is pull the trigger and then bang. You have the hammer going forward. But if you notice, when you pull that trigger, the only thing that happened was that hammer going forward. It had a single action. The action was the hammer went forward and it's only one action. In the case of a CZ-75, this firearm can actually do two things. If you notice, it can mimic a 1911. If you notice, I just charged the handle, it sent the hammer backwards. I'm going to pull the trigger, and it does a single action. Even though I charge this, that's just one single action. However, if you notice, without the hammer cock, I can perform two actions with the pull of the trigger. If you notice, I'm pulling it backwards. As I pull it backwards, it's sending that hammer rearwards. If you notice, as I continue to pull, that hammer continues to go, it's loaded up, and then I continue to pull backwards and it sends that hammer forward. It performed two actions. It sent the hammer backwards, that's the single action, and then it sent it forward, that's the second action. Two actions, double action. This pistol right here looks very familiar to a SIG P320, but it is not. The internal characteristics are totally different. The chassis is the same, but the internal characteristics, again, different. You'll notice why. This is a double action only. See, the, the, the hammer is going backwards, and it breaks and goes forwards. But there's no way for me to cock that hammer. Even though I charge the slide like a 1911, this hammer does not stay backwards. So this pistol is a double action only. The, even if I put one in the chamber, it can still not do anything until I pull that trigger all the way because it's going to send the hammer back and it's going to send the hammer forward. It is performing two actions and two actions only. This pistol cannot operate like this pistol, and this pistol cannot operate like this pistol. This is a single action only. This is a double action only. The CZ-75 is a double action and single action, because again, remember, if we charge the slide, send the hammer back, now it can perform its first shot like a single action. And we'll show you here in a second, as you continue to shoot, 
the hammer stays back. So it stays a single action throughout the course of fire until you empty the magazine. So this CZ-75 has some unique characteristics. Same thing happens on a 1911 as far as the single action uh, mode of it. It continues to fire. As you continue to fire, it sends the hammer backwards. And each time you fire, it's recocking that hammer. That SIG P250 does not cock the hammer every time. You have to actually pull the trigger all the way back on every single cycle. Even after you fire a shot, it does not cock that hammer for you. You are still cocking the hammer after every single shot whenever you fire a, a true double action only pistol. Now a Glock starts an all new argument. There's a lot of people out there that will tell you that this is a single action and a lot of people that will tell you is a double action. Quite frankly, it kind of falls into both categories if you really want to start splitting hairs. As far as the single action goes, you look at it kind of like a 1911. I charge the slide, the, the trigger is forward, it's ready to go, one pull of the trigger, bang, it goes. Okay, now this thing is a single action. Each time I'm shooting, I'm not having to cock the hammer, uh, an external type hammer, but it can fall into that double action category if you want to split hairs and take a definition in a different way. What I mean by that is, whenever you are pulling this trigger rearward, it is engaging that striker, getting that striker ready to go, priming that striker, so to speak, and then suddenly it releases it halfway through that trigger pull, and then the striker goes forward, hits the primer, bullet goes bang, or, or the round goes bang. Now, one distinct difference between a single action and a double action is the, the trigger pull. The ease of a trigger pull of a single action versus the little bit longer and harder trigger pull of a double action. Let me give you an example right here. Okay, this is that CZ. Let me load it up. I'm going to decock it. Okay, now it's in double action mode. This first trigger pull is going to mimic a double action and not a single action. Notice how long the trigger pull is. Brings that hammer back. Okay, now it's in single action mode. If you notice, my hammer is still backwards. Not, notice how easy this trigger is now. Very easy trigger. The reset is about half of what the length of pull was on that particular uh, double action. Again, very, very easy trigger pull because, again, it's simulating a single action now versus a double action. I'm only doing one thing. The hammer is already backwards, so I'm not using the energy to bring that hammer backwards. So it's, it's a lot less effort because now all I'm doing is I'm sending that hammer forward now because I'm doing half the work of the double action. Now every pistol has its place. Not all of these guns are intended for the same use. However, some of them can cross over into different categories. Like this 1911 for instance. A lot of guys, and we're not loaded here, a lot of guys like to carry what they call cocked and locked. They will actually cock the hammer back and then they'll use the manual safety to engage it. So this thing is ready to roll. And if you notice, this thumb safety is right in the good position. So whenever you do want to fire this thing, you may unholster it and simply you just rest your thumb on it and you're, you're engaging this thing, taking that safety off and this thing's ready to fire. Okay, that's one nice benefit if you're using this and you're very comfortable with a firearm in, for, in terms of carrying it. Now, what I like to do is I like to shoot in competition, USPSA, a 1911 style firearm. Again, I just cocked this thing and I just put the manual safety on it. If I put this thing in my holster and then I go to draw, not only is my first shot, my first trigger pull going to be extremely easy, but the reset is so short on that single action trigger that I'm able to go from target to target pretty fast and pretty easy. And I'm going to show you another thing here in a second. If you'll notice, and we'll show you that here in a second, on a double action, if you're shooting a double action in competition, you have such a long trigger pull, there's a very good chance that, that let's just call it fatigue, so to speak, that fatigue that you might uh, experience, pulling that long double action trigger back is gonna, it's gonna cause you some points. Now you may be wondering where the double action has its advantages. I've got the CZ here. This particular firearm is a good pistol to have for home defense and in many cases to carry, uh, concealed carry or whichever, or to have in your vehicle if you're that kind of guy to carry one in your vehicle all the time. What I mean by that is, whenever I'm ready to send the round into the chamber, okay, now if I don't want to leave it like this, because I can put it on safety, just like I do my 1911, and have this thing cocked and locked and ready to roll. But if I'm in fear that something's gonna happen to this safety here to somehow knock it off and put it on fire whenever I happen to be carrying, what I can do is, again, being very, very careful, I can decock, now some guns have a decock, I can decock my hammer and put it down. This thing's not gonna fire. So 
what could happen is I could be carrying this, or again, if I had it at home in a secure location, barring any kids, I'm trying to keep all the disclaimers in here. But if I had it ready to roll and I want it easy, but not so easy that it's a single action and just one quick trigger uh, pull is going to send my hammer forward, I can make that first shot a little bit harder. So if I'm encountered by some kind of an attacker all of a sudden, yes, my first trigger pull is going to be a little bit harder trigger pull, but after that, my hammer is rearward. So now all I have to do is that one quick motion, one quick motion. And all of a sudden, my, my next round, my second round is right there. It's going forward. And every round after that until I empty the magazine. So it's extremely beneficial to have a single action, double action. It gives you another layer of safety if you like to carry uh, in, in any kind of instance because you have the benefit of decocking that hammer and having that safety mechanism, again, that safety blanket, so to speak, of knowing that that first shot's just not going to be a hair trigger shot and you're probably not going to set that shot off holstering your firearm either. So it does give you a certain, certainly another layer of safety that I, I appreciate a lot. Now, the double action only. This is probably like a stepson. Not a whole lot of people are double action only kind of guys. I think the reason behind that is they do like the safety, like the CZ-75 of having that, that cushion on that first shot to know that, hey, I need to be deliberate. I need to make sure that I want that first round to go off before I commit to it. Um, you know that whenever you have a double action, you mean that. But they like the, the, the benefit of having that follow-up shot being a nice, easy, crisp, single action shot. This double action only does not have that benefit. If you notice, if I go up, remember what we talked about earlier, we talked about that, that shot of that double action being a long kind of drawn out pull and a little bit harder pull. And then going forward for that reset, that reset goes quite a bit forward because it's going all the way forward to recock that hammer. Now that means your second shot is just as hard as that first shot was. So you don't have the benefit of having a nice crisp follow-up shot until you run that magazine dry like a CZ-75 or a 1911 that's shooting single action all the way through. You are truly cocking and firing, cocking and firing, cocking and firing every single time. So you have a little bit more effort. Your shots might not be as accurate, and I say might not because with a little bit of practice, you can be just as accurate with a double action as you can with a single action. Friends, I hope you guys learned something today. The main thing I'd like to point out is if you're not sure of something, Seek a good, responsible gun owner out. Most of those guys are going to give you good information. Try to avoid the guys out there that are know-it-alls. Or if you sense some condescending speak from them, just avoid them. Go to somebody. There's plenty of good gun owners out there that want to help somebody out. And hopefully you learned a little bit of something about double action, single action. There's a place for every firearm out there. Take your pick. See what you like. Um, you know, try some out. That's the number one advice I can give you guys is if you're not sure what to use, find a friend that has one of each. Try them out. Give them all a shot. Uh, you may be surprised of what you like and for whatever reason you like to. But like I said earlier, every pistol has a use, no matter what the action is, single action or double action. Have fun, shoot straight, and be safe.